He's one of Jeremy Corbyn's closest colleagues, a long-time ally, never far from his leader's side and rarely far from controversy. Chris Williamson was suspended back in February after being filmed at a public meeting saying the party had been too apologetic over allegations of anti-Semitism. You know, the party that's done more to stand up to racism is now being demonised as a racist, bigoted party. We've backed off far too much. We've given too much ground. We've been too apologetic. <laughs> Today's decision by a panel of Labour's National Executive Committee to let him back in with a warning has incensed its own MPs. Oh my God, this is just disgusting. His behaviour has been abhorrent and a pattern of behaviour that's just seemingly been there to wind up Jewish, Jewish colleagues, Jewish community and to dismiss the concerns all the way through four months. I'm just horrified he's been let back into the Labour Party. Mr Williamson has condemned anti-Semitism as utterly repugnant, but in August 2017 he complained about what he called its weaponization for political ends. A year later he tweeted praise for a blogger who's allegedly made anti-Semitic claims, saying it was a privilege to hear her speak. Then in February came the video which led to his suspension. But we've learned that Labour staff here at the party's headquarters investigating Chris Williamson had recommended his suspension be upheld. But that recommendation was today ignored by the three-person panel. And tonight there are some Labour MPs linking the timing of this decision with the fact that all Labour MPs are currently reapplying to be candidates at the next general election, something Chris Williamson wouldn't be able to do if he's suspended. Labour has dismissed any suggestion of that, but the party's shadow equalities minister said she would have gone further. I probably would have imposed a, a tougher punishment, but I, but I know that he was given a sanction and I know that he's on a warning and I know that they had independent advice. Is it possible? Goodbye. Are you happy that Chris Goodbye. Williamson's back in the party? Tonight, Jeremy Corbyn was less willing to give his view. Chris Williamson has previously apologised for what he said at that meeting, but as the Equality and Human Rights Commission continues to investigate the party over anti-Semitism, some Labour MPs now want today's decision to form part of that investigation. Daniel Hewitt, News at 10, Westminster.